Kia ora, my name is Carolyn Gullery. I'm the Executive Director of Planning, Funding and Decision Support, which is what we call analytics here in the Canterbury Health System. Canterbury is the second largest um, region in New Zealand. Uh, we are a mixture of both an urban environment and a rural environment. So in New Zealand there are 20 district health boards. District health boards have the funding for their population. So in Canterbury's case we have a population of 578,000 people which the government gives us about $1.8 billion in funding each year. So back in 2007, which is when our story really starts in this case, Canterbury was not a high performing health system. We had a, a well-structured primary care system that did a lot of good work, but our hospital-based system was under extreme pressure. So the direction of the New Zealand health system is towards an integrated health system. It's to support primary care, to support earlier intervention, to keep people out of long-term care and keep people out of hospitals. In terms of the IT infrastructure, the Ministry has set a direction that says use SNOMED as part of our core infrastructure and they've enabled it into the system. We've actually taken the data that already exists in our system and then used a tool which is called HCAS, which uses natural language processing to SNOMED code what we already knew. Now that gives us a huge leap forward because we've been able to demonstrate to clinicians the power of having those SNOMED codes. The District Health Board's got a, a vision that's really about a, a connected system that's based around our people in their own homes and that aims to not waste their time. So the technology, but more importantly the data, has to support that in, in each part. So they're connected parts about us all knowing what's going on with the people that we're serving, no matter where in the service, um, those people end up being. So we redesigned that health system, we set ourselves a trajectory and a strategy. Core to making a system work like that is we had to make it visible. You had to be able to tell the system how it was doing. And that's where data and analytics become so important. So we have built a capability to deliver to our health system exactly what's happening now, what's going to happen today, and then also you started to plan what are we going to do in the future. So from 2007 we had a system that was failing to deliver to its population to 2020. Um, we've built a series of systems that act as a platform that hold together an integrated health system. So what does that mean in real terms? It means that last year we used as many acute medical bed days for a population that was 80,000 greater than we did in 2007. The same number of bed days. Now most health systems would just love that. We have a 30% lower ED attendance rate than the national average. We have a 30% lower acute medical admission rate than the national average. So you're less likely to end up in hospital in Canterbury than you are anywhere else in the country. We also use our data and our analytics such as SNOMED to enable us to understand exactly why people are ending up in our health system and that enables us to design responses. That means that we can intervene earlier in the process of care and reduce that opportunity. Now we can use SNOMED to attach to the appropriate clinical phrases a SNOMED code so now you can start to identify cohorts of people and pull them out and have a look. Ah, so what happened for this group of people? One of the ways that Canterbury moves forward, and I think it's really important to understand this, is we work with people. So rather than going in and buying an off-the-shelf solution, we go and engage with the people who actually drive these solutions so they, they can learn with us and we can learn with them. We haven't just brought in a monolithic digital system. We've been looking for best of breed, which means we have many different vendors. And so interoperability is a really critical factor for us. And so if we're going to get that right, we need to be sure that we're talking the same language when we reuse the data and that we're, if we move it around, it's got to be the same meaning in one place as another. Health Pathways is online clinical guidance. It's designed for clinicians to use at the point of care with the patient in the room. So to apply the SNOMED codes to Health Pathways, we've um, had a small team of clinicians who have used SNOMED browsers and looked at the pathways and tried to find the best match. One of the great things about SNOMED is that it's this hierarchical um, coding system, so 
we put the best match that we can on the pathway, but we don't have to find every possible match. Um, when another system comes in and says, have you got a pathway connected with this, our search engine can actually walk up and down that hierarchy to find um, any related pathways that we have. So that's been a really um, real advantage of using SNOMED. I think another advantage of using SNOMED has been that it has these synonyms. So um, the medical profession is great at coming up with new names for things. There's a lot of duplication and redundancy in terminology. And in the past, we had to actually go through our pathways manually and put keywords on them so that people could find them. Um, with SNOMED, we get all of those synonyms for free. So that's really made a big difference and improved the search experience for our um, users. What we're doing with it, which is the most exciting bit, is, in my view, is we're now seeing with an API between the electronic medical record and pathways as they're starting to talk to each other. So this is, again, it's part of this evolution of technology. Uh, at the moment we have, or certainly in the past, we've had a medical record over here and our health pathways over here, the clinical guidance, and the practitioner goes from one to the other and back again. But now they're starting to talk to each other and, and that's through that SNOMED coding link. We had a, a clinical problem of identifying the vertebral spine fractures. So with the healthcare analytics system that the CDHB has, we decided to adopt a pragmatic approach. And that is that if we could capture all of the X-ray reports done of either lumbar, that's lower back, and, and upper back, thoracic spine, then we could somehow try and identify vertebral fractures. And so with the SNOMED uh, software, we managed to establish a number of, of identifying phrases or children that we could uh, use to search the X-ray report to identify vertebral fractures. We now identify uh, over 200 vertebral, new vertebral fractures every month. And from our perspective, the interaction with SNOMED has actually been great and it's actually enabled us to identify specific case mixes that otherwise would take someone a long time to manually try to obtain the data. We have masses of data from you know, the various clinical records and reports and things in our data warehouse. Um, so my non-technical understanding of how we use that in H cases, we basically ingest a lot of that data and then ontologically tag it using SNOMED, so it looks for those SNOMED concepts and attempts to have negation terms, positive terms, picks up those concepts in the data and then presents it in a sort of user interface so that we can search for certain concepts or terms in, in the data. So um, ureteric stones for example, we can have a look for where that concept is mentioned and it'll uh, pull up those parts of the records and very quickly actually and so that we can then have a look at those results and decide if that's the, the piece of the data that we want. We provide structured analysis using a, the same and consistent methodology from operational data and perspectives, so what's happening next week, how many people in ED do we expect to have to come through the door next week, right through to uh, how much workforce and resources do we require to look after different types of patients in five or ten years time based on how we currently treat people, how we expect to treat people in the future, and also what's the population doing. So different patient cohorts and how do we manage those effectively in that process. We're increasingly using SNOMED CT to provide that structured data, uh, whether that's directly uh, through the capture of uh, patient problems, presenting problems, uh, and problem definition from a professional's point of view. Uh, we're using SNOMED CT to uh, better define what it is that people are trying to do. We're also using it to convert, as you know, convert uh, free text fields and reports and so on uh, through natural language processing so that we have a structured output from that process. And we're using SNOMED CT to describe that structured output. Well, I think the, the standards that we have are about breathing life into data and making uh, digital technology very consumable by the sector. 
So it's, uh, it's a key tool. Um, standards need to be value adding. We take it very seriously. This is why we have a, um, a national standards body uh, called HISO, which is representative of the sector. It has uh, reaches into industry. It has reaches into health providers. So the, the international standards available to us, including principally SNOMED CT and HL7 Fire, are standards which have reached a level of maturity and they're standards which are frameworks, if you like, for working within that you can build a community around and people can have fun, if I can use that word, um, working with them. I think data and analysis has been the glue that has enabled us to continue to improve. Because we make the system visible, because we use the data, because everyone can see what's going on in this health system, we keep on moving forward rather than dropping back. The area that's less well developed is how we use that structured data coming out. So SNOMED CT is, a, uh, is not a single hierarchy or classification system and because of that uh, we are now faced with how do we then create the tools that are going to enable us to create patient cohorts using the hugely diverse and comprehensive uh, data that's coming out using SNOMED CT. You know what you see if you look forward machine learning, artificial intelligence, automation is really where we need to go to relieve us of some of the repetitive and low value added tasks that we have to do manually and so to do that we have to have good quality data. So I think from a SNOMED perspective that the key advice I would say is get it into your system but then use it. Um, one of the things that I think quite often happens with coding in any system um, is that it gets used for coding, not for actually making a difference. So if you really want SNOMED to work for you, then you have to use the analytical side of it to actually say, okay, now we know this, what are we going to do about it? How are we going to make it better? How are we going to make a difference? And I think a lot of people and a lot of systems have grown up in a system where coding was more about revenue and billing and claiming rather than the insight that you need to make a health system work better and work more safely.